Welcome back, Airbnb family. Today, you're watching The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Airbnb Hosts. I'm sure you know the book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It's a cornerstone in personal development. Now, as a host with over 20 properties, making over $50,000 a month, I'm going to whip you into shape with my own version of The Seven Habits. Number one is research. You can learn so much from other hosts online. Before you publish your listing, just go online as a traveler and look around. Look at people's prices, their descriptions, their thumbnail photos, their titles. Take a look at everything that you like and make notes of things that you don't. This is a great way to learn quickly because believe it or not, this channel won't teach you everything. A little research goes a long way. So number two is creativity. See, once you know what everybody else is doing, the key to standing out is to do your own thing. And now Airbnb encourages this. They want guests to have a unique stay. So a lot of that creativity where you express yourself in your listing will actually help boost your listings ranking on Airbnb. Your title and your thumbnail photo are crucial for this. You wanna get clicks, and you wanna get bookings. So express yourself, be creative, and have fun, and you're gonna get a lot of money. Number three is empathy. See, things go wrong. Guests get upset. A lot of times it's not the guest's fault, and even if it was, you should not tell them, right? Empathy allows you to bridge the gap between you and the guest, understand where they're coming from emotionally, that way you can disarm them and solve the problem. That way you can recover your stay and get a good um, rating once it's all over. This also comes through before the booking even happens. People can see in your personality when you're talking to them on Airbnb whether or not you're an empathetic person. These things matter. So number four is thoroughness. Now you can miss little things. This happens all the time with me. I forget toasters at my units. Like I can't believe how many times I didn't buy a toaster. And it's been a problem more than once. When you make a new Airbnb property, there's a checklist that you should have. Like all the stuff that you need to buy and everything that needs to be ready. And when you activate that Airbnb property, if you're not thorough, you can miss something. And if you miss something after somebody's already booked, it can cost you some money. So be thorough, take your time, don't rush through things, and you're gonna be successful. See, number five is objectivity. Now that you're a business owner, congratulations, you're not just an Airbnb host, right? So as a business owner, sometimes we can like our own system, our own method, our own opinions way too much. I want you to be able to do a self-assessment objectively. Give yourself a performance review. Involve a stranger on this to help them give you that third party perspective because if you can't be honest with yourself and objective about your business and if it's doing well or not, you can't make the necessary improvements. Number six is optimism. It's almost like the opposite of objectivity in a way. See, business is also stressful. Sometimes you're losing money. People aren't booking. Uh, you had a big booking cancel and it just seems like the end of the world, right? These are emotional spikes and you need to be able to rein those in. If you can stay optimistic, you can stay focused on the future and look at that silver lining. This also helps when you're talking to guests because you can have a bad day, right? But you can't let your guests know you're having a bad day because you need to put that customer service face on, right? When you're dealing with people online. So stay optimistic. Just try to stay center emotionally and look towards the best possible outcome at all times and you'll be just fine. Number seven is self-discipline. See, you're going to make a lot of money one day. This is going to go good for you. And the problem is, is when you make a lot of money, you might spend a lot of money. No, rule, rule number one in business from Ken Jones at University of Houston Downtown's entrepreneurship class is don't run out of cash. So when you're making a lot of money, stay self-disciplined. Manage your ups, so that way if you ever have a down season, you've got some money in savings. So self-discipline is don't overreact to your ups, don't overreact to your downs, stay chill, and your business will grow slowly. That's the way that you want it. And now a bonus, number eight, accountability. See, you are in control of your future, you're in control of your destiny, you're in control of your Airbnb business. Now, don't let external factors affect your state of mind. See, there's 10 hosts next to me on this block. There's hundreds of hosts in the city, in the state, there's tons. We all go through the same things. So if something bad happens to all Airbnb hosts and you can't take accountability for what you have control of, you're gonna let those things get in your way. Now, if an Airbnb guest says to you that you screwed up something just the same, if that's something that you're responsible for, you need to take accountability for it so you can solve it quickly. Right? So understand what you're in control of and what was your fault. Understand what's out of your own control and just kind of like let it go. Take accountability for what is in your bubble. And if you do this, you're gonna to respond to failures faster, you're gonna innovate more, you're gonna be a much more successful Airbnb host because just a lot of people, accountability hurts and it's uncomfortable. So just get comfortable with the uncomfortable there and you're gonna be very successful. So this was actually the eight habits of highly successful Airbnb hosts. Use them make a lot of money. Welcome to Airbnb Automated. I will see you on the other side.